you know, you've made the point that people don't always make the connection between um, the research that's done, how the research was done, and the ultimate outcome. What about drugs that a lot of people know right now, like Ozempic or Wagovi or GLP-1s and things like that? It, it, what's the origin story of those? Ozempic is a, a great example of this. Uh, Ozempic actually came from studying the the proteins within Gila monster venom. Uh, so a Gila monster... Yeah, Gila monster venom, okay. I got it. <laughs> Gila monsters are, um, they're pretty big lizards. They live out in the desert and they are venomous. Um, but they also have this pretty cool ecology where they don't need to eat frequently. Um, and it turns out that one of the peptides in their venom is what allows them to keep their insulin levels nice and stable. Um, and it turns out that that is very similar to GLP-1, which is a peptide that is being used to help stabilize blood sugar in people. Ozempic started for diabetes and now it's being used for weight loss. Um, but there were decades between the time of identifying this peptide and realizing how it could potentially be useful and figuring out how to actually get it to work well and to get it to be accepted.